The sentry was a seasoned sarsier eye, a sword lord who'd killed sixteen men and bound their forelocks into his fiery red hair. His eyes probed the darkness restlessly, where the forest and the oak grove met. And when he turned, he shielded his eyes from his comrades' low fires to protect his night vision. Despite the cool wind that swept the camp and set the great oaks groaning, he wore no helmet that would muffle his hearing. But he had no chance of stopping the wet boy. Former wet boy, Kylar thought, balancing one-handed on a broad oak limb. If he were still a killer for hire, he'd murder the sentry and be done with it. Kylar was something different now. The night angel, immortal, invisible, and nearly invincible, and he only served death to those who deserved it. These swordsmen, from the land whose very name meant the sword, Siura, were the best soldiers Kylar had ever seen. They had set up camp with efficiency that spoke of years of campaigning. They cleared brush that might conceal the approach of enemies, banked their small fires to reduce their visibility, and arranged their tents to protect their horses and their leaders. Each fire warmed ten men, each of whom clearly knew his responsibilities. They moved like ants in the forest, and once they finished their duties, each man would only wander as far as an adjacent fire. They gambled, but they didn't drink, and they kept their voices low. The only snag in all the Siorin's efficiency seemed to come from their armor. With Siorin bamboo and lacquer armor, a man could dress himself. But donning the Caladoran armor they had stolen a week ago at Pavil's Grove required assistance. Scale mail mixed with chain and even plate, and the Siorins couldn't decide if they needed to sleep armored or if men should be assigned to each other as squires. When each squad was allowed to decide for itself how to fix the problem, and didn't waste time asking up the chain of command, Kylar knew his friend, Logan Gyre, was doomed. War leader Lantano Garawashi paired the Siorin love of order with individual responsibility. It was emblematic of why Garowashi had never lost a battle. It was why he had to die. 